Hello everybody, this is Monty Reed with Escape from Tarkov, and I'm playing as Hectoplasm. And I just got off of this uh, fun run on uh, Interchange and picked up a tricked out a cult. And, oh, and I went as to... And I just got, got off of this uh, fun run on uh, Interchange. And Sorry, I got up, the uh, sound out. over here. Uh, so, I picked up this uh, tricked out colt, and I went to see how much uh, Mechanic would pay me for it. So, Mechanic uh, estimated, well, offered to pay 126,000 rubles for this colt. So, rather than sell it, I figured, let's take it out and give it a shot. I mean, if I was at a gun show or gun shop and one of these came in, I certainly would take it out to the range before uh, before selling it. So... This is that very tricked out Colt. It's got a little bit of everything. It's pretty amazing. It's got a suppressor. Uh, it doesn't look like it has a light or a laser on it yet, but that's okay. I mean, 60 round magazines, got the foregrip. Um, it's got a scope. And this, I'm not even sure what this one does. What is this one here? Oh, cool. Not sure how you tilt it. I'm going to have to play with that. I think maybe doing the, the waggle will allow me to look through that sight. I think if I tilt the gun, I should be able to look through that sight. So <laughs> we're going to give that a shot. So anyway, I just uh, pretty excited about giving this a shot. And I did pick up some dog tags. I should see if I'm not sure who I forgot who this belonged to. But anyway, it was uh, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> there was also a, a tr pretty tricked uh, AK that I will be um, loading up to take it out on a run. I'm just gonna make sure our mags are full. We got 60 round mags. Uh, I got plenty of splints. So I'll probably need those. I hope not, but you know you always hope that you're not gonna need them. I'm hoping to see some advancing here, and why not? Let's just go out on interchange. And because I'm doing a test, I'm going to go ahead and run it offline. And we'll keep it same difficulty. <clears throat> this is a real good way to test out, just give weapons a try because uh, it's similar to real conditions. You don't have any actual players out there. It's all scavs, so you have to realize that you're going to do a little bit better. You can get a false sense of uh, confidence. So you have to be careful when you come off of uh, one of these offline runs because you can have this false sense of um, confidence because other players are a little more cunning than the, uh, the scavs are, obviously. So uh, looks like we've got... Uh, handful of folks watching. Thanks thanks you guys for tuning in. Again, my name's Monty Reed. I'm playing as Hectoplasm. And uh, my YouTube channel mostly has a bunch of uh, fun money counting videos and motivational speaking and uh, a lot of cooking stuff. I'm a cooking instructor and uh, consultant. I solve problems for people. But uh, about a little over three weeks ago, my son had time off from school and uh, we've been waiting for me to upgrade to a gaming computer. And uh, it's not the fastest, uh, you know, it's actually a used one that I bought, but uh, we got Tarkov and started playing. Um, he taught me how to use uh, the, um, the uh, Discord so that we can chat uh, while we're playing, and we've been having a lot of fun playing this game. And uh, I hit level 24 on my 24th day of playing the game, and I've been having a lot of fun. And I just thought, why not do some fun videos teaching other noobs uh, some of the tips that I've learned? So it's pretty much videos by a noob, that's me, for noobs. Uh, and I just hope that you enjoy this and have a lot of fun. I thought that this cult was pretty amazing, and I just wanted to share it with you all. So I'm doing a live stream as I take it out to Interchange and do some testing. I was just out on Interchange uh, as a scav hat shopping, and I didn't find a single Ushanka or single uh, cowboy hat. Now, I don't know if uh, there's a lot of people out there 
shopping for hats, um, I noticed that my scav did come in a few minutes after the round had begun. There was an awful lot of shooting uh, in the other part of the mall. I was really fortunate that shooting was down the hall and I kind of went a different direction and shopped the mall uh, and basically came upon some dead bodies <laughs> after <laughs> doing all my shopping. And uh, so I found this uh, found this colt there, and that was that was a lot of fun. So I know that we will uh, be encountering uh, other scav targets, lots of them. And uh, I don't know if when you do offline, I don't know if there's a chance of coming up on the scav uh, boss. Uh, but I've heard some pretty scary things about the scav boss. Um, but uh, I'm still trying to learn the inside of the mall. Uh, when I first started visiting Interchange, I focused on learning the outside of the map to figure out when I land, orienteering, where am I at, uh, and how do I get to my exit, and then what, uh, what targets or what objectives I want to hit along the way on my way to the exit. I mean, that's basically my approach to the game is when I land, I figure out where am I, where's my exit, and what can I do between here and the exit. And so... There's a couple things. Uh, there is a camera that I need to place inside uh, the um, the mall for one of the quests that I'm doing. And so I'm, while I'm in there, I'm going to see if I can find that spot rather than uh, rather than going in uh, offline and with just a hatchet run and no um, no targets. I'd rather go in and uh, try to find it. I know that when I was in there before, I did find the Kiba store and the Bizarro, but I need to find this store called Brutal and make sure that the camera points at Kiba. So <clears throat> I'm actually not going to be placing the camera on this, but I'll be looking for it. Okay, so here we are in the southeast corner of the map. Yeah, I don't know. It's got the sight on the side. I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But. So I'm going to put this on full auto just in case I get surprised. And then look at my exfil points are southeast and power station. So I could literally just go down there and exit. But uh, I want to get familiar with the inside of the mall, and there's a very good chance I will encounter some scavs up this road. Since I have this scope, chance I can encounter them on my terms instead of on their terms. Where pretty much every other time I've had iron sights. I'm not really liking this lag much. I am liking this. I, I better put it on single fire. <clears throat> You're not going to get a very good second shot off if I got it on full auto. having a scope. It's kind of nice. I'll use that truck for cover. Let's see if I lay down. How does that work? Oh, nice. All right. Yep. 
each time we got 56 minutes, so we got plenty of time. Now we could have someone sneak it up behind me. Just gotta check behind you. Sometimes those piles of garbage always throw me off. It looks like it's a person. Say surprise, surprise, surprise. There's an open door in that tent. Somebody talking. Oh, yeah. Oh, this Colt is really nice. Wow. <clears throat> I think I probably fired, what, about six rounds? That worked good to use the truck for natural cover. over here. If there's any other surprises. fall into the trap of uh, charging in to scab a body and then fall victim. You know, have the target that I drop become bait. <coughs> so a lot of the scavs will use their buddies as bait. hear the shooting and they come Alright, 
We are safe to search. Soon <coughs> again. Yeah, probably not. No. I will search for any medical equipment, maybe. Snickers bar. Funny how that sandbag looks like a guy, especially with the lag. That was space, huh? Let's see what we got. Nine millimeter. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll hang on to it. Might as well put in the six rounds, six or seven rounds, <coughs> just to top it off, right? Discard the nine millimeter. Oh, snap. <laughs> there, left it on the table for somebody else. But this, I think, is five five, or actually seven six two. But by 39, yeah, so it's ammo I don't need. So I'll leave it on the table too. Alright, so I've been here way too long. Ultimately, uh, the idea store is where I want to get to. Yeah, I'm surprised I only had one scav up here. Uh, 
must have been busy with other customers, huh? So, gotta keep keep alive. Look alive, you know, be aware. This map. I'm trying to find that brutal. And that will be just south of center. So if I can get in that part of the building. I'm still learning the inside. I'm pretty good with the outside roads and the parking lots, but when it comes to the parking lot underneath, I'm still I'm still not sure where everything is, and I'm still learning the inside of the mall, of course. fracture on the lens it makes it look like people <laughs> all right now I'll switch to full auto just in case I know I got a fresh 60 round mag and I think I am going to discard that MRE This is where I had a firefight with the um, high capacity AK. Really fought a lot of them on this stairwell. Not really sure where they are. off my armor. Try to get that one more point back on my head. Oh, here they come. I'm pushing the trigger button to try to get them to stop. Snap. That worked good. Finished with some wound care. Suppressor's a good thing. Now, looks like obviously I still got some damage. Got a fresh wound over here. Let's see if it'll take uh, the hotkey 9. Let's see if it'll put a bandage. No. It won't let me put a bandage on that fresh wound. Let's see what we got. We're down two points. And over here, it's bleeding still. So, just have to keep an eye on that. So, we dropped a target. I don't need what he's got. The 
do need to find that store. And if there's any other guys down that hallway, I want to find them before they find me. And also, we are looking for cowboy hats. And ooh, shankas. Oh yeah, I hid in here before. good recess spot to fire from. Now one technique I could go around. <laughs> wow. That was pretty rough. There I was talking. Ooh. Yeah, this scope is making it hard for me. Wow. 60 rounds went pretty fast. I'm hurting pretty bad. That was pretty, pretty bad to be analyzing the potential target and then get blasted from that vantage point. Splinting. Yellow cheese. I already did pain meds. I need to make sure I top off what is good still, like my head and my um, leg. Head's, head's very vulnerable. You always want to keep that topped off if possible. All right. Now, if I stay here, they're going to keep coming. But I am beat up pretty badly. I'm gonna get my head wound care taken care of. Of course, your feet. You gotta take care of your feet when you're moving.
Yeah, that's kind of dangerous. Gotta get my head fixed. Come on, baby. splinting. Can we get that 60 rounder? Let's see what it says. Let's see, my health's down to 315. That's pretty bad. here. Alright. No, you're talking. Look at the black, you feel me, you get me the black. Can't tell if I got him or not. I think I got him. So, oh, comes a guy, change the 60 round. So that's a technique that you use um, the muzzle flash to light up your target. So I was tapping the trigger so the muzzle flash would illuminate my target and then hitting the target. Now, flashlight might be better. <laughs> Certainly would be. And I don't remember if there's a flashlight on this one or not. So let's... Um... Nope. Almost empty. So we will swap that. Help. What do we got here? Let's get the head and the legs taken care of. Probably should hydrate too. health back up and then we can get back out there. Just go for the legs directly. And we're going to use some of that water. 
get hydrated. And if we got any empty mags, we want to move those and put full ones up here. All right. Back to full auto in case I get surprised. Just looking for water, 5.56 five, ammo. And this is one of the reasons it's better to go in um, 7.62 by 39 or 5.45 by 39. Oh, cabin key, nice. Bodies in here. Ah, there we go. All right. Full. Single fire. Ah, eh, full auto. Taws gear. Come on. That'll be a dangerous open area there. So what is this store called? Tell a spot, huh? Look at my map. Brutal. Kibba. Yeah, I don't see tell a spot, so. You're talking over here. over there.
Flushed him out, he's coming. Just not sure where he is. Clothing there. So I certainly got turned around. Why can't I see Dino? <laughs> there it is. Okay, Dino clothes is there. So that means I need to go at Dino clothes. I need to go left. left again. So I'll go left. All right. Let's see that's where those guys are. Try circling around. <sighs> Gotta listen. Be a scab hiding. They don't seem to hide much, they seem to walk. Mantis has a key. There's lots of med supplies in there. Single fire works really well at a long distance. So let's see, what is Voyage? There's Voyage. Yep, to do my camera bit. Just around the corner.
Atlantis. It's there. Brutal. Shop. That's where I need to place the camera, so. It's kind of dangerous to get out into the open here. Brutal is where I need to go. For that other quest. I'll take a look at the picture here real quick. So, for that other quest, I need to make sure this is clear so no one shoots me, and then I'm going to place the camera right there. not good when you can't tell because that usually means you find out when they're shooting you here muffled talking from over here minutes left southeast or power station power station I need to have um, cash and I have not accumulated any cash yet so if I'm gonna do power station I need to uh, go to the idea cash registers Just head to the south. Southeast, and if I am on track, I need to continue to my right to go south and straight to go east. Still not seeing any cowboy hats. Or Ushanka's in here. Like, remember, one of the streamers was saying this is a place to find hats and Ushanka's. I thought I saw somebody. Get ready, dude. Hydration, no liquids, but I'm at 76%, so I'm okay. So, there's a guy down there. Was.
Ouch. Numbered. Get some pain meds. <coughs> Gotta be ready for them. Splint. Got to heal that head before I take another round. One round of the head, there's only 17 points left there. Coming around behind me, I should have stayed where I was, at least until I got some health. So there you go. That was me uh, testing out the 126,000 ruble Colt M4A1. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm sorry I didn't survive, but it was fun. And uh, boy, I got a little cleanup to do on my <laughs> armor and my gear. So uh, Thanks, everybody, for joining me. This is Monty Reed playing Escape from Tarkov on, um, as Hectoplasm, and that was a run on uh, Interchange, and I was testing out the Colt M4A1. I only got 11 scavs. Let's see, Thorax. Yeah, these are not very good shots either with that scope, so I'd be interested to see how I do with the iron sights on that same gun. I just haven't had much experience with the scopes, but it sure was fun. Thanks again, everybody, and I'm signing off. Have a great day.